Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to see love in the general for the sign of Virgo four week ahead. So watch this video if you're a Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or if you're dealing with one, keep in mind this is a general reading. So take what resonates and leave the rest. If you want to have a personal reading, link is in the description. If you want to follow my Instagram, the link is in the description. So now let us see messages for the sign of Virgo four week ahead. Messages for Virgo. How are you doing, Virgo? I hope you guys are doing well. So let's see messages for Virgo, please. So what is the blessing coming in for Virgo for week ahead? So your blessing is the Queen of Cups uh, with the Two of Wands. So one thing that I am intuitively picking up is that you are going to indulge a lot in self-care, self-love, you know, and you're going to feel very good about yourself. So this is something which I see for you. I also see that uh, this this week you're going to be immersed uh, into something very deeply like you will go deep into something like research or some of you I see that you just I, I don't know like you're going to pick up something and you're going to invest a lot of your time in that you will be giving your 100% in it and it is going to bring in uh, satisfaction like inner satisfaction you feel after doing something that you love so that is going to happen for you. Uh, some of you, some uh, hidden money will be found. So maybe you will be deep cleaning your house. You will find some hidden money. So that is possible. Or maybe the money that you just kept and forgot. So I see some of you, you will get that as well. <laughs> Very random. Uh, some of you, I also see unexpected money can come your way. Like you were not even expecting that you may get money from that place. But then it's going to come in. Um, so yeah, unexpected, uh, you know, good things happening to you. So that's what I see. Uh, 201 also talks about travel opportunities or an opportunity to connect with somebody and with the queen of cups i see that it's going to be very unexpected and very sudden so very unexpectedly you may just connect with someone or maybe you'll make a travel plan or you'll just receive some good news from like a distant place so expect some unexpected things to happen with you good unexpected things right so yeah i already like the start of your reading logo <laughs> now let's see your career messages so what is gonna happen for Virgo for week ahead in career? So we have moon card in reverse, which is a good thing. <laughs> moon uh, upright definitely shows confusion and chaos and all of that. But moon card here, which is in reverse, I see that confusion and the chaos is going to be removed. You are going to get the clarity. Some of you, uh, a secret is also going to come out, which is going to help you. So it's nothing against you, but it's like maybe somebody was conspiring against you and you will very clearly get to know about it, right? So um, that is a good thing. Uh, Moon card also says that maybe somebody was trying to, um, you know, like spread rumors about you. So uh, this is a confirmation that you will get to know about it and you will be able to save yourself from that. So you are having some divine protection um, this week is what I see. Also, um, just pay attention that this is the time when you listen to your intuition and you do not become overly emotional when it comes to your career matters so try to listen to your intuition and try to rely upon your logics whenever you have to make a important decision this week right so do not be emotionally all over the place all right okay what is the blockage for virgo in career please the blockage can be 10 of once uh, virgo you are the hard workers of the zodiac we all know right and this can be one of your blockage. I see that uh, there is something that you're trying to do in your career, but the problem is that you're trying to do it all alone. Um, so you're trying to maybe take up other people's responsibility as well. So like, let's say I'll give you an example, maybe you're working in a team and because you are such a giver and such a hard worker, um, you keep on doing your work and other people's work as well. And other people, they take advantage of your generosity and they give you their work and then they take away the credit. And this is your blockage. You have a hard time forming boundaries and saying no. And this is something that you really need to work upon because I see that if you will not do this, you will be overburdened by responsibilities that do not even belong to you and you will hit a burnout. So this week, just make sure that you're only taking as much on your plate as you can digest, which means that you're only taking up responsibilities that you can handle. You're not trying to overexert yourself. Otherwise, it's going to impact your health, right? So make sure that your career does not impact your health because you are overworking or whatever. Also, I see that you're trying to do something in a very stretchy way. Maybe you're trying to do something in the most difficult way. 
your message is to try to look for alternatives as in how you can simplify it um, so take some help from experts around you to do it in a simpler way rather than trying to do it in the most hardest and the longest way right so this is what it is what is the advice for Virgo for career for week ahead your advice is the four of pentacles again the same thing that I was telling four of pentacles as an advice is that make sure that you're also taking time for your personal life and your personal needs do not be so immersed in work that you know you just do not take care of yourself like take some time for self-love and everything is well right do not try to be so busy in your work that you're neglecting your personal needs and your family also you need to open up yourself to emotions i see that you might have uh, become very cold and stubborn over the time for whatever reason and your advice is to open yourself to new ideas and you know channeling your emotions and also just keep your greedy tendencies in check some of you you may just become very stubborn and you will be like i know it all and like i'm the boss or whatever don't do that try to stay humble and keep your greedy tendencies in check if you want to grow like a person who um is of growth mindset is the one who like works as a team you know and is a part of the team if you try to do everything by yourself obviously you're gonna hit a burnout so cooperate and collaborate co-create with people don't try to be uh, in unhealthy competitions with people around you okay all right let's see your love life virgo now give me the present for virgo in love so your present is the nine of sword you might be dealing with an air sign gemini libra aquarius not necessary you might be dealing with somebody who is um, a playboy a fucker of boy something like that i see this person comes and go as they please you might be feeling cheated and betrayed by someone somebody might have used you physically emotionally sexually i see that um i see that you may also have gotten to know something about this person or the situation recently like a bad news you see how she's so horrified she's like literally covering her face because she's not able to digest the information that came in and we also have the moon in the reverse right so i see that maybe you know recently you got to know something about someone like some sort of a secret came out which was very difficult for you some of you you got to know that this person was hooking up with someone else i see that very strongly what is the blockage show for going love i see that somebody who you really um you know want to connect with this person is very in and out you're dealing with a player basically what is the blockage the blockage is the nine of cups yeah you're definitely dealing with someone who was with you for what you had so maybe you know you're like you have money or you have looks or you have status i don't know what it is but somebody was trying to exploit you for all of this somebody was with you for what you could offer to them rather than being with you for who you are so i see somebody was exploiting you for sure that's the blockage somebody was trying to treat you as a trophy that they can display to everyone yeah what is the outcome for virgo in love next ten of sword painful ending definitely i see that there's a painful ending ahead but you know it's not your loss because obviously this person was anyway a cheater a liar so what's to lose there like if somebody is already a piece of shit like what's the point in crying over their loss they were never yours right so i see that in the future um, you're definitely going through a, a very tough time emotionally uh, you will be uh, required to make peace with the fact that this is coming to an end and anyway it's not serving you you know you know that you already know that recently you got to know something about it or you will and i see that you know that this is not serving you you need to move on you were with someone who was using you manipulating you and now this chapter needs to come to an end i see that maybe in the past you were trying to you know uh, ignore the red flags because you just wanted it to work but those red flags are now going to cost you like when you whenever you lower your standards to accommodate somebody you have to pay a very big price for it and this is what is happening for you but if you see it um in a good sense then it's actually working for you like obviously universe does not want you to be with a you know bitch <laughs> universe wants you to do good so universe is kind of eliminating this person from your life but obviously it's going to happen through a painful ending something is going to be revealed somebody's secrets are going to come out um and all of this process is going to be a bit challenging for you what is the advice for virgo in love your advice is the page of sword 
so your advice is first of all to like just know that whatever is happening is happening for your good and do not uh, get into get into this panic key and anxiety mode some of you if you are like feeling too overwhelmed then maybe you just need to visit a therapist try to take professional help so so that you can channelize your emotions really well i see that right now you are in some sort of like emotionally alert kind of a state um and this is something which might be causing you your your mental health is definitely fucked up so you really need to pay attention to it that's what it is i also see that you know that you need to take some sort of an action when it comes to this connection or this person you know that you should move ahead but you keep on um, delaying it and now universe is like okay if you're not doing it bitch i'm going to do it for you and now you have to make peace with it you know so that's what it is you need to make a fresh start universe is asking you to make a fresh start you were anywhere dealing with a cheater a liar there's nothing to lose here it is all happening for your own good like all the all the bad cards in tarot possible have come out for this person like what do you want like nine of sword knight of sword seven of sword tower ten of sword five of sword page of sword like who the fuck were you dealing with like just let me know in the comments this is a freaking satan that you were dealing with damn this is this is one hell of a toxic person like fuck like all the all the bad cards possible in tarot have come out for this person why the hell are you dealing with this person virgo what's wrong with you go see a therapist go see a therapist if you think that losing this person is a loss you need a therapist baby <laughs> you really need a therapist this person needs to go and it is for your own good okay so this person is definitely going let's see what new is coming towards you in love what new is coming towards we're going love five of wands first you need to cut this crap you need to move out of this chaos is what what universe says yeah universe is like no new person bitch like first clear out this crap like you've already created a lot of clutter for yourself <laughs> like fuck every every toxic card in tarot possible is coming out this was some major oh my god like this person can have the guinness book of world record for the for being the most shittiest and the toxic person you were dealing with a satan for sure like for sure i've i've done so many personal consultations i'm into a cult for 7 plus years now and i haven't seen a shitty reading like this like this is one of the shittiest reading like you are definitely dealing with someone very shitty very crappy toxic full of shit universe is like first clear this crap i do not want to bring in any new person you need to clear this crap oh my god <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you <laughs> let's take a guidance message for you virgo to close off this reading give me message chemistry and we have you, you deserve love so i see that universe is telling you that you deserve love and you will have someone who's going to have a strong magnetic attraction with you it's going to be a good connection but for that you first need to cut this crap you really need to cut this crap all right so that's pretty much your reading i hope this helps and resonate if it does make sure you subscribe like share comment i will see you very soon in the next two video and i just really want to hear from you like who the hell are you dealing with like just just explain to me in the comments i need to listen to the story of yours so yeah that's your reading i hope this helps and resonate if it does make sure you subscribe like share comment I will see you very soon in the next video till then you guys take care stay safe bye